So the question says, the diagram shows a flat screen TV on a hinge wall mounted support. If the television is placed 15 centimeters from the hinge position and has a weight of 55 newtons, determine the force F required to keep the support horizontal. Okay, so looking at this question here, uh, we have uh, the television mounted on this uh, wall mounted support at a point, let's call that point uh, uh, P. So it's supported at a point P, right? And uh, the television is placed 15, cent 15 centimeters from that point and the support has a length of 0 0.6 meters. Okay, so we want to find out the force F required to keep the support horizontal. Okay, so to solve this, we will look at uh, moments. And again, we know that moments refers to the turning effect of an object about a certain point. So in this case, we're going to consider, consider the turning effect of this object about this point P. Now, because um, if we, if we pay close attention to this setup we this is our point right this is our reference point so all turning effects will be made reference to this point here so as you notice here we have um, a turning effect due to the television going this way and then we have a turning effect due to this force f going in the opposite direction so because of that, we have two forces acting in opposite direction, and the question asks us to determine the force that will keep the object horizontal. Now, this word horizontal is a key word because what it means is that uh, the object is in equilibrium. So, we know the principle of momentum says that for objects in equilibrium, so let me just write. moments is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. So we know then that for object to be in equilibrium, the sum of the clockwise moments must be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. And in this case, in in this in this case, our objects our object is stationary because um, it's in the horizontal frame. So therefore, it, um, we can consider this uh, principle here, which is the principle of moments. No, we know that our formula of moments is that moment e is equal to force times distance. That's our formula for moments. And again, where force is the force acting, uh, and d is the distance from the pivot with which this force acts. So we can write then now a uh, formula for the principle moments. So that formula goes, so let's write principle. of moments so we say that sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti clockwise moments so we know moments the formula for moments is force times distance so we can say f1 times d1 is equal to f2 times d2 where f is our clockwise force and d is the distance where that distance from the pivot where that clockwise force is acting likewise f2 is our anti-clockwise force and d2 is our distance from the pivot where our 
anti-clockwise force acts so let's look back at the diagram here so uh, we can consider the force due to the television are the moments due to the television as our clockwise moments and the moment due to the support are due to our force F as our anti-clockwise moments so let's write um let's write so we'll say we know that the force of the television is 55 newtons and it is acting at a distance of uh, 15 centimeters now our distance as since our force is in newtons our distance must be in meters so we can convert 15 centimeters by divide to meters by dividing by 100 so when we divide by 100 we will get 0 0.15 meters and that is equal to force which is f2 multiplied by the distance and again that distance is on 0 0.6 meters so we'll have 0 0.6 meters so we can uh, pull out our calculator and begin to solve this problem here so we'll say 55 multiplied by 0 0.15 and that is 8 0.25 newton meters right and that is equal to f2 times 0 0.6 meters so in order to find f2 which is our force that will keep um, the uh, support horizontal we would have to divide both sides by 0 0.6 meters So we divide by 0 0.6 meters. So when we divide 8.25 by 0.6 meters, let me just do that right now. So 8.25 divided by 0.6, and that is 13.75 newtons. And these here will cancel. So our force F2 is equal to 13.75 newton so we can write in that force 13.75 newtons so that's our answer right there right so so we can write in that f would be equal to 13.75 newtons so again this is junior roberts coming to you with real juniorroberts.com if there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on please feel free to send me an email and i'll do my best to clarify any misconception for you post your questions below uh share this if it was helpful subscribe and thank you for watching